Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the no-shot run where we're trying to beat the game on legendary Iron Man difficulty with not a single shot fired and zero explosives uh, used. It's going okay so far, although there are a couple of problems that I'm still trying to kind of overcome. Uh, one of them uh, being the Chosen and how to effectively uh, invade her sanctuary. But before we even get there, I needed to stop the Avatar project and uh, now a terror mission or retaliation mission has popped up. So the game really doesn't give us any slack at all. Let's see whom we're going to take on to those missions. So we could take Hogbite, but I really want him to like fully recover. Nice little solid recovery, by the way. Sona now being a major also allows us to use him on some of uh, the covert ops missions that we couldn't do beforehand. Uh, Psyops I wouldn't want to use yet, so we're starting really with uh, Diva tier and Quick Feet. Uh, Zuhuger is pretty heavily wounded, so he's out of the picture for now. Instead, we, I was hoping that we could rely on someone else, but we can. So it's Jammer. And we have another specialist. Well, the only one is Sonar, because Sane is on covert action. Damn it. We're low, very low on manpower. Good. But at least we got a lot of rangers with us. Make utility items available and before we forget it, uh, let's upgrade some of the weapons. Fusion X for instance, yes please. It's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, the Psy Amp upgrade would be fantastic as well. We don't have the means. Probably need kind of another supply run or something. Mine shield wouldn't be too bad. I think that would be sensible, but it requires sector, uh, sectoid corpses, and that's the same as the upgrade for our Psy amps, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, and the rest is fine. I'm not going to bother with it. Let's, again, make all of the items available here. And we're going to start with Mimic Beacons. Yes, please. A couple of Mind Shields. Fusion, uh, fusion Blades are fine. That's good. It's a lot of damage. Roby is well equipped as well. And we'll get another... Another well equipped Ranger. Yeah, so far I think the Rangers are doing very well. Jammer here gets a skull check and a med kit for good measure. And that really needs to be enough. I hope that uh, we will have enough damage output in order to uh, get through the mission, specifically since we're fighting against the Chosen. Speaking about which, since we're fighting against her, um, in all seriousness, by the way, Hesmer's vest isn't too bad. I think Chrysalids might be uh, with us. So how about we're just taking one battle scanner with us. Sounds like an idea? I think so as well. All right, here we go. We're taking the battle scanner with us uh, because we know that the Chosen is uh, the assassin. And I would absolutely love to spot her out before she gets a drop on us. Good, we're landing. XCOM is going to go get in hot and heavy. No concealment this time, but of course we do have rangers, so there will be some extra concealment, which is why whenever I see on the forums uh, that conceal is a bad abil ability and really there has no merits whatsoever, I tend to snicker because that's really a one-sided view of the world. Yes, there are better abilities, no question, but it certainly has its... Um, uh, it certainly has its uh, place within the game, right? Specifically on missions like this, where you're hoping to really advance as far as possible. Yeah, being concealed, just being able to double move without immediately triggering something. 
is a fantastic ability. Heading to that location. All, All right, right I'll go. can move uh, move up. We already know that no one's here. Got it. Again, Ready. thanks to conceal. I don't want to move to uh, over here. Could trigger. Ah, very unrealistic to trigger something over there. So let's move over here. And end the turn. Let's see which chosen we're fighting against. I think it's going. Oh boy. Well, lucky us. Did I mention that the Battle Scanner reveals also their borrowing location? Damn right it does. And we're not seeing a Chosen because she is preparing to invade our ship. Interesting. Rolling. In the meantime, we already know that there are nasty, nasty sectoids over here. Uh, chrysalids, sorry. I wish they would be sectoids. Oh, look at you! Well, what a nice coincidence. We also found a faceless one. Done. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had yeah, to worry about. Yeah, lucky us. Uh, it's good to see that we haven't triggered them. Again, thanks for being hidden. And they can only use their tremor sensibility if they are borrowed. Which means this year, unless we're having another faceless one, will not Get out of here. uncover us. Very good. Moving all the way up. Divert moves over there. And sure we're probably going to be swarmed by a few chrysalids next turn. Which is going to be a pretty nasty situation, to be honest. How about we're throwing them a bone? By giving them something to chew on. End of turn. These guys are now triggering. I figured that they would, but that's okay. They've got eyes on me. Very nice, that worked out fantastic. Because now they're not attacking civilians. Fuck my life. They are very much attacking civilians, and that is where the whole mission might go sideways. You gotta hate chrysalis. Like, it's a really deep, sophisticated, intense hatred. It's not one of uh, those just dislikes or being uh, being slightly against them. No, 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 no. It's a real solid hatred. Let's take care of the two chrysalids up there. Very nice. But Psy, can you say? Aren't you worried about the civilians? Thank you for asking that, my friend. I am, indeed am very afraid about uh, them. 
But we're getting our asses handed to us, so there's really only that much we can do at the moment. Luckily both of them are burning. Burning in classic vanilla. Um, would prevent them from uh, being able to attack us. But that's no more. In the new version, it just deals damage. Because, yeah, what happened is everybody was using uh, incinerating rounds in the Berserker Queen essentially just went home being incredibly sad about her life choices. I am considering throwing in a mimic another mimic beacon like here just to get both of them to move over. Wouldn't be the worst idea, I suppose. Good, that guy Faces one will die. Armor still holding. Moving up. Now. And let's kill that other chrysalid. Well, it is burning, right? It is burning, okay, so it will die automatically. This chrysalid here will not die automatically. It's kind of a gamble whether or not we can get it down with bl uh, Bladestorm. And if you've learned anything in XCOM so far is do not gamble. And said, just kill it and be done with it. Moving a tiny bit further, and then I totally like the idea, I don't think I love the idea, of using another Mimic Beacon so that everybody is just happy and starts moving there. Fantastic, it's another hit. Boy, boy, am I not looking forward to fight against Chrysalids on terror missions. Negative damage. All right, at least both of them are equally bad at hitting their opponent. Robbie charges into the middle of everyone there we go good job Our target, minimal damage. i need double blade storm right here so that whoever actually moves in gets melted Very nice. So far, things are looking okay, I suppose. Faces one being exactly that, a faces one. And the question is, do we want to just accept that this chrysalid here might be able to kill one of our guys? Or are we killing it with a common protocol? I think the answer by now should be clear. We now have a nice little like wall of blade storm in front of us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, let's just position ourselves there. Fair enough. Hey. Ooh. So far, so good. We got a little chrysalid problem. 
and one pack of enemies that's just going around and murdering every everybody. Yeah, more chrysalid birth is exactly what we needed at this point. Let's counter the chrysalid birth because I don't want to even get hit. There we go. Perfect. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Rogi moves in and slashes this guy for good. Fantastic. Could begin to move up there. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. That guy is too far away. Do I want to use the next Mimic Beacon for just for that thing? Probably not. I'm all over it. Instead, let's move up. Advent forces on the ground. And trigger random pack. That's what we want to use the last Mimic Beacon for. Rescuing some. And I really want to make sure that no more civilians die. This guy has taken some pretty serious damage. How about we're moving over here? And wouldn't it be fantastic if we could try to take out the mech, but we cannot. Huh. Lovely. All right, quick feet. Concealed. Conceals himself and I'm on the move. takes a better position. Really don't want any more civilians to die here. Which is why we're going to take the easy out of killing this trooper right away with it, uh, with our protocol. And we don't have uh, we don't have um, lightstone here. That's unfortunate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Mimic Beacon like right over here as another bait. That should keep the civilians alive for one more turn. Let's see what the crystal is going to do. It should not be able to reach us. We're incredibly far away. And it did not reach us. Fantastic. Very good. Uh, let's do some haywire protocol, but not before. Roby doesn't get an A protocol, and then we can haywire protocol right over there. Efficient use of actions is incredibly important to play a good specialist. So are we going to control him and scout with him, or are we just going to shut him down? I think we're going for 
the control. Fantastic. Good. As long as this, uh, he's under control, we should be fine. Let's slowly but surely move our way towards the target. Good. We're concealing ourselves. And we're almost done with rescuing these guys. On my way. It's another. You're safe. It's okay. another faceless one over somewhere over here. But for now, we're okay, as far as I'm concerned. Things are going actually quite well. Obi moves over there. Got some advent here. Oh, really? We're triggering. Not even sure how that worked, to be honest. All right, Divad is hidden. That's great because only Robi is currently being seen. Quick feet uh, gets a full protocol. Quick feet is, by the way, also hidden, so shouldn't have done that. Robbie's the only one who can be seen. I forgot that I um, that I used concealment earlier, which was the reason why they couldn't see him in the first place. We're going to go closer without exposing ourselves. This here is a really good spot. And he's most likely going to shoot the mech because it's easiest to hit. They're moving the flank base! X-ray has got me flying. Position compromised. Take much more of this! Well, look at that. They've seen me. Yep, that's what you get for being un here uh, not not careful enough. I totally deserved it. So that was a poor poorly played out turn. Not the worst ever, but yeah, I, there there was really no excuse for running so far ahead. We were okay on the rescues. Just wouldn't need to overdo it. On the other end, it's not the end of the world. Just a tiny bit of damage. We get some bonus intel out of it. Starting to like the skull checks, by the way, more and more. Just absolute fantastic um, pieces of, of work for us. Because we can very very solidly engage advent troopers that elsewise would not easily be killed i said cluster up There we go, Implaceable. Slowly but surely hitting our I'm up. Still up. other mech here. Heading out. And I think we're just going to top off Quick Feet. Gremlin, get on the heels. Good, very good. It's 
it's one small chrysalid over here but they cannot rep reproduce Let's see if we can spot the chrysalid out. And, interesting. Where is it? Not a problem. Hmm. All right, let's kill the mech first. No longer a threat. Now I am wondering where is a chrysalid? All right, right there, perfect. Barely can't reach it. Yeah, I'm still moving there just in case the chrysalid moves in and we can use two blade storm attacks. If not, let's give Rovi an aid protocol. By giving him an aid protocol, actually the other target, Divat, will be the more attractive target. So technically, the AI, AI should be going for Divert. And we're ending the turn. Well, I got it, right? it did not go for Divert, but instead tried to kill Roby. We have no further concealment left over, which means from now on we gotta do it the old fashioned way. Rolling out. So let's switch sides over here. That. We're taking this round as, on my way. as a reformatting uh, type of Got move. It. Let's get into position, everybody. And end the turn. One more pack, probably. Then we only need to save one more civilian. Which hopefully this guy is going to be. John, now we can take it much, much slower. Haylock moves up. Uh, we're going to use Quick Feet. In order to move over there. Double time. Sonar. Roby. Okay, and Jeff. Already there. Perfect. End of turn. I think that might be the last of them. Quick feet charges in and just kills it with one strike. Good job, buddy. Taken care of. No, nope. there is still a pack, which makes sense because right usually there, when man. everybody would have been killed, that's okay. the moment when the faceless one automatically um, uh, reveals itself. It hasn't happened, Absolutely. so there's probably one more pack. I could imagine it's a single chrysalid that has stuck in like probably somewhere around the building here what's over there since we do not have any time pressure the whole thing here Sorry, begins to become much 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 more relaxed I'm trusting you here. I got you. Go. Good to go. 
Yeah, Halo, you really need to, Good to go. take some cover. On the move. And we're good to go. Fire. Orders confirmed. On Luckily, the, the enemy does not use explosives against us. Otherwise, this would be an incredibly poor position. If, if you say so. Just double checking that no one is on top. Okay, which is, of course, when we were immediately surprised with four advents. Who are somehow chilling up there. Minding their own business. I wish I could remember who of who of the four has gotten the hazmat vest. All right, let's move in. This guy will use his shield, although he has an open shot. Unfortunately, sustenance saves the day once again. On the elite priests, it's 66%, so it's happening more often than not. That'll be a kill. Fantastic. And in order to not cluster up and just motivate him to take a grenade, Roby sings uh, the Bruno Mars lyrics, I will take a grenade for you, and just moves up there. Takes an aid protocol, and it's probably going to be targeted with uh, the flamethrower, to be honest. That should trigger um, both the burning and the bladestorm. Very nice. Worked like a charm. Very nice. That worked as well. Hit the armor. They're all over me. All right. Well, no easy way around it. Got to kill. What? What are you? Even serious. Damn, that well, that stinks. Evac, we need emergency evac Our soldiers now, are suffering out there. All right. We'll need that's that's the typical uh, story that legendary XCOM um, moves are being pulled around. Roby falls off Gremlin, medical detail. the rooftop. Then someone else panics and decides to just hunker down because there's nothing better than to panic in the midst of a big fat firefight. Relatable everyday hero. That's what we were looking for. Five more points of damage. Come on. Already. And the game tells you, yep, really. Well, at least we got Bladestorm here. Might as well make, make use of it. There you go. Could be theoretically a kill. To soften the blow a little bit, Diva. Get some healing. But yeah, there is no way to sugarcoat it. If that explodes, both of them are going to drop down. And that's going to stink for him. So 
superior out in order doesn't mean anything for us, but advanced speed is actually not too bad. Got it. Well, Adjusting we don't need to concern ourselves with such trivial matters. Problem is, he's standing next to an explosive. And I don't need to be a, a genius to put one and one together here. Got it. That's affirmative. So let's move out to not get fully blown up. Luckily enough, We're not picking up any armor saved the day, so Roby took a hit for the team. Overall, however, we had been successful. I would assume Roby is, yeah, more or less injured, so probably around 10 days. And here we go. So let's see. Roby's actually only seven days out of service. This here is a little bit more problematic. Being shaken means five or six days away from the team. Hello, Commander. And we even got 27 additional um, income. Richter got the cautious trait, which is not good. I think it's hunkering down, right? Yeah, that is actually a really bad trait. Gotta remove it from him, and he's out of commission for 17 days. Holy shit. Yeah, the team does not look great. There's no sugarcoating way of putting it, but we're... We are battered. Let's give him plus two speed. That way, Divad at least gets to the enemy faster. That's a fantastic drop. Alois and Delirium, very good. But we gotta heal. So for now, let's just finish the scan. Just takes us a few hours. And then we're going to help healing. They knew what they were getting themselves into when they joined up with your resistance. The elders don't have mercy. Very good. Okay, cool. So heal faster. It is had any issues targeting civilians. And their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect. I wish I could get that extra scientist. It's been offered up there. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. We have a chance to deal the elders a great blow. Should you wish that here Commander. would be fantastic. Some more avatar production, uh, project uh, reduction. This here would be even better. Faction soldier, another Templar. Hmm. Hmm. Love it. Let's put some irrelevant uh, soldiers on it and get the Templar in nine days. Afterwards, we're hunting. We're okay with the Avatar project so far. Two less uh, on the Avatar Doom Clock wouldn't be, would not be too bad. But I'm concerned that we need to uh, be able to infiltrate the, uh, the strongholds first. Okay, that's great. I love it. Gotta move fast. Shadow chamber now operation. We gotta move fast in invading the, uh, the stronghold. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. 
With the shadow chamber fully operational, now we can't put we Hopbite can into into to negative trade removal. Not now. Recovered by our forces. Yeah, ten percent additional critical hit for sword attacks. That's a nice upgrade. So we're going to purchase it. Overall speaking, I think we're fine. We just need to find the right timing to invade, and I need to find out before invading whether or not um, we can even hit the sarcophagus. I would say we're doing soul steel and get both of the soul steels, and then in three days we're invading. That would give us most of our rangers back. We got Zane. Probably can work with Jammer. Yeah, that would be an okay team. We can work around that. Good. Soul Steel is a great ability. Domination is an even better one. Holy shit, our Psy operatives are now starting to really get good consider the countless lives that could have been spared had you remained in your place among the elders champion first the autopsy is done and the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose we should do what we can to take them down before they hit again i am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as i do mm. as if the typical muton was okay with intel now. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy. I think we might want to go for a facility lead, to be honest. But only after some more intel. That's okay. I think we're at a good point point where I theoretically could go in. I really don't want to risk being attacked. Templar, Psyops, Psyops, Specialist, Specialist, Ranger, Ranger. One, two, three. No, that's one too much. Um, Yeah, we'll probably, we should probably go in with two specialists just so we have enough healing and sustain. Let me, let me think that through, but I guess the next time we're going to see each other is when I'm invading um, the assassin's home, her stronghold, and hopefully with that um, I'll prevent her from shooting us down which brings us to the end of today's episode and as always if you enjoyed the content feel free to leave a comment and or a like down below that helps the channel grow uh, we see each other in the next mission thanks a lot for watching and take care bye bye